Hello everybody, it's Len. Welcome to a new video. How are you all doing today? So, I'm gonna be making one of my look videos. I'm so sorry for all my subscribers who are still waiting for more Japan videos. I'm going to attempt to recreate a look that I've had inside my head for a while, so I'm gonna try and bring it to life. Yeah, I'm not a makeup artist and I'm not an effects artist, but I like drawing and I like makeup and sometimes I just get inspired by other looks that I see on TV and on social media and I want to do my own take on it. Now I have done makeup videos in the past, you can go through my old videos and I have a bunch of them there um, and I still like them and I enjoy creating them and doing them, it's just that when I see what other real um, beauty vloggers and beauty gurus are doing with their own set of skills and experiences and yeah, it just makes me want to stick to what I know. This said, you're not going to stop me from having fun and experimenting. So today, I'm going to try something new. Last time I did a cute anime girl video look. Though honestly, I have those big ass contacts that I got from Japan and I really wanted to make a look around them. And today, I'm going to be doing a Viking warrior inspired look, sort of. <laughs> if the contacts inspired my last look, this is what inspired this one. Face tattoos. There has been a little bit of a Viking theme in my life at the moment though, definitely not on purpose. Things just have been adding up. I have been binge watching the Viking series on the History Channel. That's what inspired this look. I used to have both sides of my head shaved, warrior style. I had this tattoo done not too long ago, which is very Viking-esque. And also, if you've watched my uh, Taste in Men video, you'll know that I've been um, swooning and drooling over tall, muscular, big man, kind of Viking esque. So I guess it was only normal for me to be making a Viking inspired video, right? <laughs> so the first thing I did was do some research, look into some of the style of tattoos that the cast wore in the series. The hair, the makeup, and then I tried looking up the actual tattoos, which kind of reminded me of Celtic tattoos, with the lines crossing over each other in intricate patterns. And then after a while, after trying to familiarize myself with the style, I decided that I might have to offend a few Norsemen and women and just wing it, since I couldn't easily find consistencies within the patterns except for the runes. Now that I'm done looking at Viking, researching Viking tattoos and their looks, I thought it would be a good idea to create a plan of what I'm going to be putting on my face, some sort of map so that I know what I'll be doing. Huh? The patterns that inspired me the most were the ones on King Harold's face. The placement was cool and dangerous, so I tried going for something similar. King Harold's brother had some interesting tats too, and so did Astrid on her neck. I considered designing a neck tattoo, but I struggled so much already for the face portion that, that I thought I might have to give myself a pass on that one. The patterns were complicated enough as they were, so I had to be careful to keep it simple for myself. Looking back, yeah, not simple at all. This this right here, I'll probably show you here too, is what I came up with, though I know that crap. <laughs> though I know that once I'll be trying it on my face, it'll probably be completely different. I'll have to adapt it and make the lines bigger. So yeah, you'll you'll see it once it's on my face. I'm probably gonna drive myself crazy trying to replicate it and uh, make it look at least a little symmetrical, though I did read that asymmetry was very typical of um, Viking tattoos, uh, I was looking for the word Nordic tattoos. So for makeup, I looked at the images of the warrior, uh, women, the shield maidens in the Viking series, and most of them just have dark eye makeup. So that's what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna take all this off my face and come back with a blank canvas, just, you know, prep it. Hair-wise, I did want to film myself attempting a hairstyle but I suck at braiding and my hair sucks at staying in place so this is what you're gonna get for now. What I am gonna do for the sake of this video because I just pinned my side shaves back is that since it's barely been a year since I've tried growing them out and they're about this big by now is that I'm going to shave them back off. I mean it's just a year's worth. Um, it'll be fine. It'll grow back super fast I'm sure. All right, all that's left now is to begin. 
Let me go take off all of this and come back with a prepped face. wings 